We've been talking about drawdown, the point when greenhouse gases start to decline. In our first episode, we looked at composting, but there's another way to get us to draw down, and it's by preserving tropical forests like these. What can the forest do for climate change? And with threats from all sides, can it survive? No miro mejor opción. Diez veces al día esta cantidad. I'm Nathan Johnson in Belize, and this is the Drawdown Report. My third cup of the day. We got sugar in the coffee. You can't drink coffee with no sugar. Because we're in Belize, and we're surrounded by sugar. Scientists agree, we need forests. They store carbon dioxide, buffer against global warming, and contain tremendous biodiversity. Belize is one of the world's most forested countries, but it's experiencing active deforestation, especially here in the north. The main reason? Sugar. That industry is also causing a lot of land clearing, a lot of deforestation. Once you hear a monoculture, that means clearing a big area so that you can do the planting. Due to the constant use of chemicals, plowing, too much plowing and burning, have taken those parcels to be degraded. So what they are doing, they are finding new areas to do, do their farming. This is a parcel that have been recently deforested. By doing this, we put do that ecosystem in danger, whereby no animals are seen around, no trees. Not only does sugar farming destroy the forest, it's also remarkably unprofitable. I'm here outside the only sugar processing plant in Belize. This huge line of trucks is full of cane farmers waiting to sell their sugar cane. The current price they're getting is about $42 per ton, less than half of what it used to be. Ya no da como antes, antes si te daba y ahorita creo que estamos sobreviviendo. Está quedando muy poco, estamos balanceando, como dicen unos, si ves que no es negocio y por qué sigues, por qué seguimos. Les voy a ser sincero, la caña lo tenemos sembrando, ya la inversión ya está hecho. No miro mejor opción. It's not just sugarcane. There's another threat to the forest, firewood. This is the traditional fogón. Uh, it has no chimney. It actually has no structure. It's just a couple blocks of concrete. Put a pan right on the top and that's how they cook. But it has all sorts of problems. You can see that the, the ceiling is black with soot here. Women bear the brunt of respiratory illness in Central America. These stoves also use a ton of firewood. Eso es lo que lleva. Para... Para cocinar en la mañana. Y cuando yo termine, este palo se va a terminar, voy a poner otro. Dos veces al día, esta cantidad. Dos? Va a ser como diez veces al día, esta cantidad. Sustainable Harvest International, which provided funding for the Drawdown Report, has a solution for this. The wood conserving stove, SHI is building along with the participants. We are using less um, wood, decreasing the amount of deforestation. No quema tanta leña como el otro uno que nosotros teníamos. It has the additional benefit of taking the smoke and sending it out through a chimney instead of being breathed in by the family. Y ese sí era un problema con el antiguo fogón que teníamos. Tiene que estar torteando uno y está llorando con el humo. <laughs> Entonces, este, no, con este uno, no. <laughs> As for the sugarcane industry, SHI is trying to address that, too. Podemos poner el chile, tomate y repollos en esta cama. In areas of Belize that have been hard hit by the sugar industry, SHI trains farmers to produce organic vegetables instead. We are like an option to the local and farmers. Aquí tenemos lechuga, tomate, chile dulce, habanero, cilantro. By that, they have an alternative that they can produce a diversified crops. By strategically locating their organic gardens and improved stoves near areas of deforestation, SHI hopes to reduce pressure on the vast, untouched forests of Belize. And when families have better nutrition, better income and better air to breathe, it's a win for them too. Estamos alegre y trabajando aquí, aunque poco despacio, despacio, pero estamos yendo bien. In Belize, with the Drawdown Report, I'm Nathan Johnson.